what might a shockwave treatment look like? Well, the typical way that a shockwave treatment goes is first, we're going to perform an evaluation of whatever injured area we're dealing with. That way we know that this is going to be a really good treatment for you, making sure that our office is the best treatment for you to get your care. Or if it's something that is not the best treatment, then we're going to recommend some other type of treatment or potentially to be seen in a different office. But back to shockwave. A shockwave treatment is a very easy, very nice treatment for a range and a host of tendinopathies. So let's say that we're looking at the inside of the elbow. This is a very common area that gets injured in rock climbers. It also, a lot of golfers will get injury, injuries here and especially a lot of like gripping type of athletes. So with the shockwave treatment, um, there's no anesthesia that needs to be involved. We don't knock you out. There's no incision, there's no surgery. It's an extremely safe type of treatment. And that's why I can use this to treat my elbow right now, right here in front of the camera. So uh, we, we turn on the, the machine, then you'll hear that kind of sound. And then you can actually just apply the transducer to that head. So a very simple, very affordable, cost-effective treatment for a host of tendinopathies. And what we'll typically do is we'll do a treatment at the local area of discomfort. So, sorry about that. We'll do a treatment at the local area of discomfort, so where this common flexor tendon is, and then also to the musculature that contracts and pulls on that tendon for something like medial elbow pain. You can actually see a little bit of redness here. That's that nitric oxide release, which is going to dilate my blood vessels to ensure that tons and tons of blood flow gets to this area. Increasing that blood flow is going to then increase the amount of healing that can happen in these regions that are treated by the shockwave device.